Central Europe is currently facing the worst flooding it's seen in decades due to torrential rain. Thousands in Poland, East Romania, and the Czech Republic are being forced to evacuate as floodwaters damage infrastructure and inundate towns. Across particularly Poland, Czechia, and Austria, we've seen uh, lots of life. We've seen power outages, uh, big evacuations, uh, transport disruptions, damage to infrastructure. Uh, and yeah, thousands of people are, are evacuated, the hundreds of thousands affected by, by all the, the impact of these uh, floods. So a very dramatic picture across the board. Despite the historic nature of this season's events, experts warn that due to climate change, rains like these will become normal. And, and the mechanisms here are, are clear. Um, Europe has for decades been warming uh, at, at a much higher rate than the rest of the world. Warm air holds more moisture, and what goes up will come down, and we see these uh, extreme uh, rain events. Uh, and we'll see more of this as we go forward. These have been branded now as, as historic floods, and, and, and that's correct. It's nothing to disagree with there. But climate change has a way of moving the goalposts. So soon we will be talking about these kind of events as frequent or, or even annual uh, as we go forward. Countries are warily looking toward an expensive future of increased natural disasters such as these. Poland has already set aside $260 million to help those impacted by this season's flooding. So significant steps are being made by us and by authorities in, in understanding and acknowledging uh, that we need to adapt. I mean, the, the window on, on mitigation is essentially closed. We know that the coming decades will bring more and more of, of this but funding for adaptation globally is still lagging behind. We're not meeting the targets. The majority of climate funding goes to mitigation. So we need to, to do much more. Experts have described in great detail the challenges we are now and will further come to face as our climate continues to change rapidly. What we must still wait to see, however, is whether or not nations and leaders will be able to effectively implement the solutions that experts have outlined.